the, the, it's it's sort of something that is being used for political ends in a sense, this peace forum, because um, as Douglas was saying, there is an, an element of political messaging here. Macron uh, saying that a multilateralism is the way forward. And he himself has actually uh, made a, a parallel between the 1930s and the present day. Um, now, you could argue that's not exactly right, because uh, the global system is very different um, today. Uh, and the fact that all these world leaders can come today, these odd political bedfellows, as Douglas said, that already gives you a clue as to how different the world is today, that they can uh, all be here together. Um, but uh, Macron making what some would say is a false comparison between the 1930s and today. But the question is, why is he doing it? And you could obviously put that in the context of his campaign or upcoming campaign for the European elections, uh, where he again is running on this message of multilateralism, European unity, uh, common European projects and policies, common European defense is something that he's gone very big on these last few days. And that drew, that drew some raised eyebrows, to say the least, from the Trump administration. Um, so, you know, there's, there, there is this political messaging. And of course, he's running on this idea of it. It's me or uh, the National Rally, which is the former National Front. Um, and if you want the National Rally, you're going to go back to the 1930s. That's the sort of subtext of what he's saying with this message that now is like the 1930s. Um, uh, so, so there's definitely, I think you do have to see it somehow linked to the European uh, elections and what Macron's messaging is, is going to be there. And the fact that for him, the stakes are very high because this multilateral vision that he has uh, is actually very much under pressure. If you look at the latest opinion polls, uh, the uh, the national rally is just the, uh, the latest EFOP poll here. It puts the national rally, the far right, slightly ahead of his republic on the move. Uh, uh, party when it comes to the, the European election. So that's what this peace forum, that's that's the kind of subliminal thing here. In terms of the practicalities, well, the, the French president, the uh, Macron administration, they chose 119 projects from all around the world, uh, which is supposed to highlight the importance of dialogue between cultures, religions, and so on. So this is all happening at uh, La Villette, which is uh, a big space in northeastern Paris. We understand that Donald Trump is not going to be there, which is not a big surprise because... Do we know why? Uh, yes, I think we do. <laughs> um, I mean, you remember that UN uh, speech, a very strong rebuttal of global governance and uh, saying that uh, that, for, uh, that America will never surrender its sovereignty to European governance. So, um, uh, sorry, to, to world governance. So anything that smacks of, of, of um, the kind of you know, um, vibe that this uh, peace forum in Paris is trying to give off. That's not obviously something that Trump is not really going to be interested in. 